Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and today we're working on this beautiful Range Rover Sport. This is the four two-liter supercharged, and uh, this is the uh, special edition. So we're gonna be doing an AMS oil engine flush. We're gonna be flushing all the carbon deposits out of the oil cooler, out of around the timing chain. We're gonna be getting all those years of carbon around the rings out, all with this engine flush. It's a, it's a really good cleaner. So here we go, special edition. Engine flush is going in right now. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe, tap the notification bell. That way you'll be able to come back and watch all this important information for your vehicle later. All right, time to throw in our engine flush. What this does is it gets all the old carbon deposits out. That way you won't have to change your oil filter as soon because when you run the AMS oil, it's gonna clean a lot of that out. It's 100% synthetic and it has proprietary detergents that get all the carbon out. So no matter what, you're gonna be safe, but these are the great benefits to using the flush. So all we do is crack her loose, pop off the little safety seal, and it's like a real thin clear detergent. And uh, now all we do is throw that in, and now we let her idle for 15 minutes. We're gonna motor her up. And now we let her idle for 15 minutes. Three, two, one. Now while she's idling for 15 minutes, we're gonna tap her from another angle. We're gonna put in our PI Performance Improver. This is a fuel system cleaner. You put it in every 4,000 miles, treats 30 gallons of gasoline. This cleans the valves, gets all the carbon deposits off, so the valves seat better. You also get a lot of the carbon around uh, out of the combustion chambers. The combustion chambers actually change shape over the years, and all that carbon builds up. Well, this gets it off in about five gallons uh, flat, it'll take all that crap out of there. So all we do is stick her in. A gulpa, gulpa, gulpa. Give her a little shake -a and that's it. That easy. This goes in every 4,000 miles. So this is what she sounds like before. to show you the bolts we're taking off. We're taking off 13 millimeter, 13 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter bolts. These are all the bolts. They all come off, all in this uh, skid plate for extra safety. So we're gonna take that off and then we'll have the oil pan exposed. I wanted to show you the other belly pan that came off. This little guy right here, that came off right there. That protects all the oil cooler lines, all these oil cooler ports. This is the drain where we're gonna drain the oil, and there's our oil filter right there. So we're gonna be getting that oil filter off, draining her down, and uh, then we're gonna go ahead and fill her up, and I'm gonna answer the question first. Any residual of the flush that gets left in that half a quart, it won't hurt anything. A lot of people always ask me that, so absolutely nothing to worry about. Let's drain her down. A 13 millimeter socket, same exact thing as all the belly pan bolts. Now all we do is just crack her loose like butter. And now she's super hot, so it's gonna come out like water. Let's do it. Here we go. You guys are in the splash zone. Wow, that's hot. That is good and hot. On the count of three, three, two, and a one. And there she blows. And when I say she blows, she blows. Woo! That's a rush. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a damn Niagara Falls. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, holy cow. Wow. That is a squirter. All right, so you can get a chance to see what the aftermath looks like. So you say, even, what does a squirter do? What do you mean by a squirter? Well. Take a look. Is 
That is a squirter. And now it's just coming out like water. Beautiful. Time to crack the filter. Got lots of good leverage. That's it, she'll start leaking. Oh, oh. Boy, she is a leaker. Wow. She is a leaker. All right, now we let her drain down a little bit. And then it'll be time to prep our new oil filter. We're gonna wet her up, lube her up, slip her on, throw our cork back on, time to feel her up. All right. Good to go. Out with our old filter, time to prep our new one. This is our new oil filter. We're using a Wix oil filter. These are good for 10,000 miles. This is an OEM genuine Range Rover Land Rover filter. And the difference is the upgraded uh, anti-drain back valve is better uh, on the Wix. Also the medium filters a little bit better. It uh, actually catches more contaminants. And then if you can get the Amsoil filter, that's even best. So the Amsoil filter filters at 99% efficiency at 20 microns. This one, uh, they have the efficiency rating, but it's not quite as good. Uh, but this is the exact filter number we're using. And this is the filter. So now how we prep her up, we're gonna be getting a nice fresh quart of liquid gold, 100% synthetic. And uh, this is good for up to one year, 25,000 miles, 700 idling hours. And uh, this has been used for up to 26,000 miles in the channel. I have a video of that. Stick it up here in the corner, check out that video on the Happy Bread Van. So how do we prep it? We're gonna fill her halfway of liquid gold, and then we're gonna rotate her, get her all nice and wet, so we come in, don't be afraid to get a little bit messy with it. Get your rubbers nice and good like so. Get your threads so she slips on like butter. And make sure you're wearing your rubbers. You don't want to get this stuff on your skin. Thread her on. Wipe this up a little bit. Like so. Perfect. Easy as pie when she's all nice and lubed. I wanna give you a close up of what the oil looks like after the flush. So this is what it looks like. It's just barely dripping out and it really delaminates that oil. And uh, if you wanna get all that oil coking out of the coolers, the ports, you really want to keep that clean, definitely give her a flush. Well, time to cork her up and feel her up. It's that time to feel her up. We're putting in eight and a half quarts of 5W30 Signature Series. This outperforms Mobile One Extended Performance by four times in the industry standard turbocharger deposit test. It burns off at half the rate of the best Mobile One. And well, you get better gas mileage because it's 100% synthetic. You have less parasitic drag on your crankcase, circulates a lot better. You have much more cold start protection because this flows at uh, negative 60 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. So it really helps with your cold starts, which that's where about 80% of the wear on your engine occurs when you cold start. So all we do is throw in the oil, what we love to call on the channel the liquid gold. And uh, it's so good, you can actually feel the protection. Nothing like the satisfaction of changing your own motor oil. All right, our first start up with AMS oil. Three, two, one. So, we got eight quarts in there. We're gonna go ahead and uh, check our oil level in a second, but I want you to hear what she sounds like after. You really 
probably should let it drain down for about five, uh, about 10 minutes for the oil to be at the right level. So we're gonna check her out here. It's about, been about five minutes. So we got eight quarts and we are smack dab in the middle. You'll see we're right about there in the middle, so we're good to go. Now definitely always get a couple extra quarts on any cars with oil coolers, turbos, or superchargers, because when you flush it, a little bit extra oil can come out and you're better off having an extra quart. That way you won't have to spend uh, nine bucks for shipping just to get one quart. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. All you do is just tap the button right here and then you'll see the notification bell, tap that, and that way you'll be notified when we post a new video later. Here with Rich, the owner, and he's had this thing for how many years, Rich? Originally since 2006. Wow, all right. So we'll get some driving impressions. A lot smoother, a lot quieter, and uh, certainly has a little bit more pep to it. Awesome, then we'll make it right at the light. Yeah. So yeah, so we got done doing the motor oil, which you'll see that video up here in the corner. Also, we did the front and rear differentials, and uh, we were gonna do the transmission. I'm gonna go get this flush off me. I got some, uh, you saw it was a real squirter. The, all the oil went all over the place. You'll see that in the engine flush video. And uh, we also have many transmissions just like this on the channel that we've done. So it's the same type of drop the pan, slap in the fresh filter, clean the gasket. A lot of these gaskets are reusable in some of these transmissions. Some, the filter is inside the pan, and you'll see that on all my transmission playlist right up here in the corner. So we're back at Express Lube and Auto Repair, and uh, we will see you back next time. Really appreciate you, Rich. Oh, my pleasure. Sweet. Next, uh, I'll uh, do my uh, 2012. All right, beautiful. We'll be back next time. Cheers to protection, protection, protection. And check out this video right here.